All right, so today I'm gonna to show you how to host a website on GitHub. So it won't just be a GitHub repository, but it will be an actual uh, browsable website using something called GitHub Pages. Additionally, I'm gonna make sure that you never have to run Git or even touch the command line in order to get this website to work. So first thing you wanna do uh, is make sure you have a GitHub account. Second thing you want to do is you want to make sure you have all of your files and folders set up correctly. So right here, um, this is going to be my projects website, all my projects for the storytelling class. So we see right now it says storytelling projects, has my name, and there is a link to my first project. You click through and then it brings you to this page, which I just stole from, uh, stole from Blocks, and it is, uh, it's a page. Browsable, back to all projects, pretty easy, um, better than having someone uh, downloading your projects and trying to run them on their own machine. So how do we do this? Well, if we go into our uh, projects folder, uh, you'll see that the first thing is an index.html file. So index.html files are automatically served by a web server. Uh, you don't have to name them anything uh, or if you name them anything other than index.html, you will have to type in that file name, but the web server will say, oh, index.html, you're in this folder, I might as well serve it to you. So you'll see that right here, we're just at localhost 8000, not at localhost 8000 forward slash index.html. So you're going to make an index.html file, and you are going to have a link that goes into your subdirectory for your project. So mine is called letters because it's about letter frequency. Yours could be called whatever, project one, you can have a descriptive name, uh, up to you. So inside of letters, I have another index.html, which means that if we go back to the browser, we click through to the project, this does not say forward slash letters, forward slash index.html. It just goes into the folder letters, and then it says, oh, okay, uh, index.html, that's what I'm interested in. Along with this, um, we have a CSV file that has the data, and then we have the JavaScript file that my index.html is calling. So all of my D3 is living inside of this JS file, all of my data is in the CSV, uh, and then the index is really the important one. So maybe you have hundreds of JavaScript files, thousands of CSVs, maybe you have some external style sheets, uh, anything you can put in there, just make sure you have an index.html. So now the important part is this works on our local machine, right? We ran, we went into terminal, um, we ran the simple HTTP server, we can see everything is perfect. Now we need to put this up on GitHub. So go to GitHub, create an account, and now we're gonna make a new repository. So go over to this plus symbol and then click new repository. I'm gonna call this repository storytelling projects because it is projects for a storytelling class. And then the description will be a repository for all of my projects for storytelling class. I want to make sure this is a public repository. If it's private, no one else in the world will be able to see it except yourself, and that would be a little useless. Now, the one important change you need to make on this page is click initialize this repository with a readme. So it's just a boring file that doesn't really do anything for us except allow us to upload files later on. Generally, if you're using GitHub with Git, uh, you don't initialize with a readme, you hook it up with a repository on your machine, you push to GitHub, blah, blah, blah. What this allows us to do when we click Create Repository is we now get a, f a button here that says Upload Files. Um, now we are going to use this Upload Files button in order to upload all of our files, obviously. So um, we see JSOMA Storytelling Projects. Um, this is our readme file right here. It's an incredibly boring file, um, but in order to get all of our good files up there, we need to click Upload Files. Now, drag files here or add them to your repository. I recommend that you drag them all in at once and it will prevent you from causing any sort of problems. So, this is my projects directory. It has my index.html and it has my letters folder. 
what you need to do is drag them all in at once. Do not drag in index, go into your project folder and drag each of these in individually. You want to make sure that all of them are put in at the same time. So we're going to drag them in there. It's going to upload the files and we'll see it least lists each of the files, our index.html, and then it has uh, visual.js in a subdirectory, the CSV in a subdirectory, the index in a subdirectory. Make sure you didn't just drag over your projects directory. Uh, make sure that index.html is sitting by itself, is not you know, with anything in front of it. So we go down, we commit changes. So it's now uploaded all of our files. If we go into letters, we see it has the CSV, we see that it has the index file, but it's not browsable as a website. So there's one more change that we need to make. If you go up on the top right hand side, you see settings with a little gear next to it. We're going to click that and then we're going to scroll down until we get to the GitHub pages section. Uh, so GitHub pages, we just need to tell the repository how to serve up these files. So under source, it says GitHub pages is currently disabled. Select the source below to enable GitHub pages for this repository. Let's do that. You are going to click master branch because that's really the only thing that you can select and then hit save. It's going to refresh the page and it's going to seem like nothing happened because this thing up here, GitHub pages source saved, it's a little bit hidden. Um, but if you scroll down, you will see your site is ready to be published at, and then it will give you a URL with a link. So what I want you to do is to click this link. It will take you to a website and it will look exactly like what you have locally at localhost, but it will be at your username.github.io. And so when you submit your project, what I'd like you to submit is this URL right here, just so all we need to do is select project one and we'll be good to go. All right, thanks a lot.